I mean, honestly, from day one, from our, when we met them and we had our vision of what our kitchen was, which is a bit sort of out there and not a standard mm -hmm. kitchen that you kind of see anywhere. And they just took it with open arms and ran with it. And, you know, nothing was too much, nothing was too hard, nothing was, everything was just yeah. a breeze. And it was exciting. We were, you know, creative together. And I remember when we sat down with the guys, we, we started excited. going through our ideas. They completely got it from the get-go. Yeah. The kitchen, obviously, for us, is the heart of the home. Mm -hmm. It's where we spend so much time. It's where we love to have our friends. I love to cook. I love to eat. This is it's true. It's a great partnership. She's a very good cook. Thank you. And I'm a really good eater, which Thank is awesome. So <laughs> the combination of the two it's is like, perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the first time that we've actually had a space where we can entertain. Yeah, um, which was really important for us from day yeah, one. Yeah, really, really important. And we spend most of our time here in the kitchen, so we wanted to make it perfect. Perfect. Um, and you know, we, we already had our plan for the house um, and working with our interior designer, Georgina, but at the same time, they were so helpful in bringing, up, bringing across their own advice as well 100%. and kind of helping us through that process. Yeah. So they do, uh, I presume they do this for all clients, but they um, make a sort of CAD. It looks like a picture of mm. what the kitchen's going to be like, but it's all done on the computer. Because that, that's the thing, when you, when you sit you down and you it. go through the ideas, you can kind of imagine it, but then when that came through, it became very real. Yeah. We were like, wowee, this <laughs> is going to be our kitchen. Wowee. Wowzers, trousers. And for us, like, individuality is so important. Yeah. Um, so the whole process was just really enjoyable. I loved it. And now I would do it again. And which... now we're in our kitchen and we're sitting on our island. Oh, it doesn't I've break. I've always you wanted an island. <laughs> and I remember when we were doing the kitchen, we couldn't decide. Do you remember with the island? If we were going to do it, it that way. This way. Or that or way. Or this way. Yeah. This and is a good way. This is a good way. Because then even, it means, you know, you can do yeah. stuff behind it. You can talk to people, look out to the garden. Even with doing the island both ways, before we kind of knew what we wanted, um, Stephen said, why don't we just build it on site? Tony, the fitter, came mm. and built it. And then he said, we can, you know, we can put it that way, we can see how it looks, and then we can move it this way. So nothing was kind of set in stone. It was very much working to the space that we had, um, and it was adaptable on the day, or, you know, we could decide then, couldn't yeah. we? Yeah, we still, I mean, we, I walk into this kitchen every morning and I still love it like I did the first day, so. I'll love it for the next 70 years, not yeah. seven months. 70 years, wow, that's a long time, that's scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just love it, it's been amazing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've loved their design process. Um, I, I didn't find it scary at all that they didn't have a showroom. No. I didn't find working on email or on phone, I didn't find that bit, I, I wasn't concerned about that at all. We live such a busy life that it's almost easier and more accurate for us to just work remotely from mm -hmm. our phones, from computers, on the phone, and, and you know build that design process almost digitally instead of going into a showroom and seeing, and also showroom, I just don't like a showroom. I mean, hey listen, I've been in a few, few No, I do, but I find Some... them quite, they're quite daunting, they're quite I scary. Don't know. I just feel, <laughs> the whole showroom, it, it's quite dated. I think, you know, the fact that we've managed to create this beautiful kitchen, just completely taking that out, out of the picture, only goes to show how effective it can be. Mm. And the thing I've loved about it, I think we both have, is how personal it's been. Yeah. Um, and how reactive it's been. We're a little bit out there, a little bit crazy, and I think sometimes when we sit down, and I think it was probably the case when we sat down with the guys, we're like, this is what we want. <laughs> is this possible? <laughs> a little bit like crazy. We're like two magpies. The and they took all of that in and they digested it and then they just broke it down. And we're like, guys, we love this, but what you should maybe think about is maybe doing this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because like Em says, we were kind of going into the unknown yeah. and we know what we want, but when it comes to a kitchen, it has to be practical. Yeah, 100%. You know, this is the place that we're in every day. All the Even the location of the, the drawers, the, the dishwasher beside the sink, the you know the things yeah. that you don't think about until you're actually living and working yeah. in the kitchen. You don't. So they, you know, to sum it up, they brought our bespoke vision to life, but also made sure that practically it worked and aesthetically. Aesthetically, it was on point. Actually, this is quite rogue, and I never thought I would say I loved it so much. What? But I love our extractor fan. Our extractor fan? Extractor fan, this was an issue, because extractor fans are normally quite ugly. Mm. And they're quite hard to find one that A, doesn't sound like a lawnmower, 
coming through the kitchen, mm -hmm. and B, looks quite nice and sleek and sexy. Who and knew subtle. Extractor fans could be sexy? I love the Bloody Mary station out in the back corner. It's under, on Sundays it's Bloody Mary station, on Saturdays it's the wine station. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of rouge in the back there. But that I love as well, because we've got that interior window which looks her into the living room. So if, you know, if Ends is kicking back in the living room... And always you, making me a drink, you know, I'm like... You can just be like, hey baby, yeah. coming in hot. You know what I mean? And woo! What? Woo! woo <laughs> I would say, do you know what I love? And I go in there a lot, is the pantry. Oh, I love the pantry. Oh. And we actually... Can we, you believe we've got a pantry? Oh, baby, we've got a pantry. <laughs> but it is hard to pick one, one... Yeah, the tap, amazing. So this tap, I didn't actually know this existed. It's from Cooker. And it is not only a boiling hot water tap, by the way, the only on the market that is actually boiling. Mm, it it is, is a cold filtered water tap, but it's also a standard tap that goes from hot to cold, which is so great. So basically it's three in one. It's three in one. And it looks really sexy. It looks great. So yeah. That was the theme for the kitchen, by the way. Sexy. sexy. I mean, do you know what's so funny? When we started this project, I, to be honest, I had no idea what anything really cost. It is a little overwhelming. Um, and obviously for us, again, going back to this whole thing of the kitchen being the focal point of the pad, we wanted it to be premium. We wanted it to be of a really nice finish and spec. Yeah. We wanted it to be bespoke. But at the same time, we didn't want to spend crazy amounts of money. So yeah, get, that. to sum it up, it, you know, they totally got our budget, they worked around it, and we've got this finished product that is premium looks so slick, but at the same time it was, you know, it was affordable. Mm. I mean, honestly, we've already told all of our friends to go with Terence Ball. This is true, actually, we have. Um, I, honestly, hand on heart, there's not one, I don't have one fault. There's not one thing that, nothing was too much, nothing was a problem. It was, you know, they took our dream kitchen and they made it for us in budget. Right. They did, yeah, they, it was amazing. You know, when you go away for a while and then when you come back, God, the appreciation you have. And oh. I always, you know, when we go away and we come back and we walk into this kitchen, that feeling of like appreciation. Home. Do you feel at home as well? I just feel so lucky, to be honest, mm. to have this home and to have this kitchen. Me too. We're very lucky. Hit me there. Love ya. Love ya.